welcome back to easy spirit 101 i hope you guys are having a great day thank you for being here thank you for watching let's see what y'all need to know right now or at the time that you see this message what do you need to know right now something's coming into light it's like not fully uh in light right now someone may have gone into hermit mode or be thinking about or maybe someone here is like tuning out the world around them and this is actually helping them make sense of something this is helping something come into light here or someone is thinking about going into like hermit mode so they can get some peace and quiet to make sense of something or to get some sort of clarity or illumination over a specific situation or relationship this is your sign to yes you probably should act on that and i just saw 109 so that is definitely yes you are being divinely guided to act on on that <laughs> It's going to help make sense of something. Maybe, again, I'm getting through, like, relationships. Somebody doesn't... Somebody needs to make sense about some sort of love situation. I also feel like there's some sort of, like, weird connection between finances and relationships here there's like love and finances connected to each other but a side note is for whoever this is for who's like getting divine guidance to kind of tune tune inwards to go in hermit mode to tune everything out and like really focus on gaining some sort of clarity over something I was also getting that this might actually help open up someone's heart whatever you discover in this in this um like solitude that you go into in this meditation that you go into it could whatever you discover in there could actually open up someone's heart i'm even drawn to this little dot here going kind of like as a burst starting like this and bursting in bursting open um so it could even be i could be talking to someone who's having trouble manifesting finances and the reason you are having trouble manifesting your finances is because of like your heart chakra is closed off or blocked you may be fixated too much on finances and need to discover that you should be focused more on love that could be for someone here there's some sort of like anger there's like anger not anger or we don't know if we're angry or not <laughs> coming out here I also feel like when you go into hermit's mode and when you go into this meditation something that you figure out is going to make you effing angry <laughs> so that's something to be aware of but it's like something that's probably you need to know if you're being divinely guided to go into hermit's mode to receive some sort of download to receive some sort of download this download could maybe even help you with what you're after opening up your heart is going to help you manifest finances or show you how to balance the line more between money and love something like this here but whatever you find in there yeah someone someone's almost said losing sleep someone is losing sleep about something here but someone here does not feel at peace about something it's something you need to discover that's definitely a strong message coming through you are being divinely guided to go into some sort of solitude situation right now tune everybody out because there's some sort of information that's blocking your growth blocking your growth or blocking your ability to manifest. I just saw 446 uh, when I said that. Mm. 
yeah, this is like, this is something you may be struggling with um, your spiritual strength. Your spiritual strength is, is like, is that thing that, that if, when you allow spirit to come in and help be your team and give you the extra things you need, like sometimes it's patience. Sometimes you're being guided to be patient for something to flourish or you're being patient for some sort of um, right timing. It's stuff like that. It's it's the the courage or the knowing that when you're being a team with spirit, that they're tapping you on the shoulder and telling you, uh, I wouldn't date that person. I wouldn't go in that direction. And you're actually listening. This is someone whose spiritual strength, it's like it wants to be there, but it's not quite there. So you may be struggling with this a little bit. Again, this meditation or whatever that you're being guided to go into will, will and could. There's some important information that someone, and you're on the tip of it. If there's some sort of new thing that you're being curious about that you feel like maybe you need to spend more time kind of digging deeper and figuring something out here there's some important information coming through in this through this like isolation period that you're being guided to go through and it it will help you grow and it will help uh increase your strength here Let's see what else. What else do you need to know? I just opened up to um, courage. This could even help your courage. But there, please be understanding. Yeah, there's definitely this. This could. Again, we were just talking about spiritual strength. This is definitely something coming through here, and the reason why there's an element of difficulty in this. And I feel like whoever you are, there's something that's going to be illuminated. You're going to discover something here that's going to make you really, it's coming through like you're going to be really freaking mad. So I'm, it's just a warning. So there's probably like intuitively what's coming through with that. Somebody's probably holding back something from you. Someone could be hiding something from you. Um, it could be anything, someone who's close to you. It could be someone who's close to you is not as close as they think they are, or maybe they're doing something behind your back, something weird like that. Something here is going, it needs to be illuminated though. And this is going to end up making you stronger in the end, but this is a test. This is going to make you stronger. It's going to make you spiritually stronger. It's going to help open up your heart. It's going to help you be more courageous which someone here in the divine collective has been dealing with their person or someone is awakening here and part of what needs to blossom or grow is courage um in this there's going to be a major test there's going to be a spiritual test pay attention to the test focus on if god gives me a test i'm determined to pass it that's how you grow your spiritual strength. That's how you grow your soul. That's how you grow your maturity. All these things here are going to help open up your heart. They're going to help you manifest better. Someone here, I just got this through. Someone here, your finances are being blocked <clears throat> because you have not, or you've been ignoring some sort of lesson. Someone's been tuning out a lesson. Someone's been um, learning the lesson, but then wiping it under something like this here. Uh, spirit has been, you have a specific lesson over your soul, over your life, over your journey that you have been avoiding, not looking at or neglecting. And this is part of why things are slowing down for you, especially where it really, you know, I could be talking to a divine masculine finances here are really important to someone. Yeah, there's something very important about like your spirituality, your belief system. I'm also being drawn to this little moon here, which is in a in a peculiar peculiar phase. Um 
So there's something here like changes are going on per kind of like astrological changes. The changes is like right timing kind of changes. I don't know if someone is doing yoga here or maybe you're being guided to. And this could even be... Um, Excuse me, this could even be like the spiritual um, kind of yoga that like Hindus do. I'm sorry, I'm not more familiar with that, that I could give more details, but maybe it's called Kriya. I don't want to say that wrong, so y'all can do your research. Um, some kind of like, it's like a meditative yoga someone's being guided to do that or maybe you do like to do that and you should do it more hmm there's some part of this information here is like that you're gonna find out it has to do with some sort of reunion you came into a reunion with somebody and it was like blocked Someone here blocked it. This part of me might be what what happened or what you're going to find out. Or it's about a reunion that you were sent into was like deliberately to block you. This is something to do with what you're going to find out. Yeah, again, you were being deeply guided to like go out like go out block out go out maybe even if you're someone who likes going hiking uh going into a wooded area or whatever it is for you the park the beach so someone here is definitely being guided this is going to inevitably bring you joy joy and i have to clarify this eventually <laughs> eventually it's going to bring you joy because Initially, what you discover is going to make you very angry. So what's interesting is this is being called in. You're being called in into like a meditative state. So basically, you already have the pieces to some puzzle within you is what's going on. You already kind of know this. Something's probably already kind of like flipped a switch inside of you and it made you kind of look sideways, made you kind of like you already saw the signs of something and you were curious about it and you may have dismissed it. And this is why they're saying when you quiet your mind, when you get away from whatever's going on here or whoever's going on here and really get quiet. And, and again, I'm getting someone being drawn into the type of meditation you like to do or the type of yoga you like to do whatever this is the pieces are going to come together you're going to like every you're going to have like an aha an aha moment you're going to have a sense of clarity you're going to discover something that you really need to know about This is something here about somebody, something affecting someone's business, business finances or business model. I don't know why, but I feel like someone did something out of like jealousy or something. I, I'm the bigger, better, there's something weird going on here that I'm not surprised whoever you are, whoever you are, when you follow this intuitive hunch, it's going to make you mad. And I feel like somebody close to you It's because it's someone close to you. Someone wanted you to stop investing in something out of like jealousy. And I feel like the, the bulk of it came from like differences in belief system or differences in the way we do something or 
I have to live my life this way. How dare you think you're going to get to live your life this way? Something like this. I just saw 1505. You could be seeing a lot of fives at this time. You're being guided to look at this and like kind of rip the band-aid off. I feel like wh whoever, whatever this is, things are not going to be the same between, again, courage, a test came out again. The reason why is because this needs to happen. This needs to happen. And I'm being, there's something like you're never going to look at this person the same ever again, but this needed to happen. This person if you have someone who's close to you and you have someone who's very bonded with you, who is actually trying to block you, this per you could even be meant to, you could be even, this is part of your journey. This is in your soul contract. This is in your, a lot of this stuff, you guys, when you learn how to read a natal chart very clearly and look in the right directions, there is more spelled out to you that what you need to know about how you can draw in abundance, about what kind of relationship is going to work best for your heart, about where you need to grow, things like this. A lot of that is spelled out for you in your natal chart. This could be even be something here that it even says in your natal chart, you were meant to work like this. You're meant to be, this could be someone who, um, works a traditional job and then someone here who's meant to be like entrepreneur something like this here created some sort of like somebody did something deliberate somebody did something yeah this is like this is this person is like pulled some it this card literally says extreme craze this person pulled some extreme craze over some some sh and and i get the feeling that it was very manipulative and that's part of why you're going to be so angry now what you need to know as divine collective here especially if you're new to the party some of you are new to the party some of you are going through an awakening and you don't even know why or whatever um, it's just happening. It's happening in perfect timing. Stuff is new to you. Stuff is making sense deep in your soul because your soul is your guide. Your, your spirit team can help guide you through that capacity when you're tapping into yourself more, when you're tapping into prayer more and listening to them more, things like this. Um, this is what you need to be aware of. There's something here that is going to test you to the core. And remember to handle this situation through integrity. Through integrity, through all of those things, all of those like virtuous things. And that is what spiritual strength is. I'm always trying to find ways to to explain or spell out good examples of what spiritual strength is. That is when you absolutely want to flip and pummel someone and they probably deserve it, right? They deserve it. And you don't. You don't. You literally don't. You look at them and you know, like, look, I could lay you out right now. And I'm not going to. I'm going to let God take care of it because he asked me to. He asked me to come to him when I have an issue like this. This is what you, whoever this is for, you may not even know this is for. Well, you should because that's your, your cue. If you've been getting an intuitive hunch that something, there's like a secret among you, or there's something, a mystery among you or your group or something, that something needs to be brought to light for you, especially when it comes to some sort of connection. That is your cue that this probably is for you here. And this is what you need to know. You need to know that you're about to be tested to the core. Make sure you pass your test because usually when you have a test that really te challenges you like that, uh, there's a blessing on the other side of it 
for passing the test. What else do you need to know? What else does Divine Collective need to know about this situation? Yeah, that's what I was saying in the beginning. Someone here, your heart chakra is blocked. It could be because of some sort of connection. It could be because of some sort of like lesson. Again, there's like some big lesson that has to do with your your growth, your spiritual growth, your journey that has not been learned yet or has been like neglected. Like you'll look at it and then you stop looking at it. Yes, you are. If this is for you, you will know there's also um one eight and eight out here. If you make this move, you will you will unlock. You will unlock what it is you're looking for. And it could be because someone here is like, again, I'm picking up an energy of someone who like has some sort of trait, but they're not tapping into it. And it's like, you are seeking in en en enlightenment. Your soul is, in seek is seeking enlightenment. You may even be like in the closet about, certain things with your spirituality like the way maybe you grew up in a traditionally religious home I have a right to speak on this I grew up with this kind of thing I grew up with a traditionally religious home um but my my soul was very um open to all kinds of things I was very drawn to all sorts of differences in even areas where there's differences in religions and belief systems, yet they're also the same. Some of the things that are written here and there in this book, in that book, in the Bible, are the same as what another religion believes. So again, this all boils down to becoming enlightened to the overall goal. Now, the overall goal here is to be loving and accepting of all different types of people, even your enemies. That's really what God wants for everyone. And that is why you should be operating, operating out of an open heart. So when your heart chakra is blocked, for those of you who have heard this before, it can affect your ability to manifest. You're not operating out of a place of love. Which means it's very possible you're operating out of a place of distrust and fear, which is the opposite of being enlightened and working, having spiritual strength and working with your spiritual team. Yeah, what did I say? The minute you enlightened, the minute you become enlightened, things are going to feel different luck is coming in things are going to change for you there's a 10 here endings and beginnings whatever difficulty you've been going through is going to end again someone here refusing to like reflect someone here is really being guided you're going to like this is going to change everything for you especially where it comes to your finances and luck luck and love luck and finances luck whatever here someone really needs to there was an obstacle that was put in your way and you're like not looking at the truth about it this is going to bring in more stability for someone, a new opportunity. Some of you may even literally like have the finances to move if you're trying to move. Let's see anything else we need to know about this. Anything else? Anything else we need to know about whatever this situation is?
yeah, someone here feels like you are like stuck in this place of feeling like you've lost, like you're, you're on the losing team and you're like perpetually disappointed. Someone may even feel like they've lost some sort of like friend, like a friendship or something here. Again, this is, there's something that needs to be seen here. There's something, this is why, whatever this is, all of this is connected to this enlightenment that you need to understand. Or maybe someone is viewing a situation, maybe you are viewing a situation with someone, this person could have been very karmic, and maybe you feel like you lost out on something, but there's something you need to see here. I don't know why I'm going back into this, so let's see. Something you need is some sort of truth you need to see about someone you've been working with that you think is your friend or thought was your friend. Yeah, this is going to change everything. This is going to change everything when you figure this out. So whoever this is for, it's, again, I don't know why I keep, they're telling me to remind you someone here is going to be really flipping like, like I want a curse bomb. Someone's about to really, this is going to make you really angry, but you need to know this. It's going to change everything. It's going to like change everything for you to recognize something here. So what's a bit of advice, please, for Divine Collective? A bit of advice about whatever this is. So you'll know this message is for you if you've been really, really being drawn to. A, you feel like there's something you're missing about something specifically surrounding a connection, um, finances, business. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe a business partner. Something here has to do with that. And you've been guided to really go into quiet, isolation, solitude, meditation. It's because you have the puzzle pieces. It's because you've seen everything you need to know, but you've been dismissing it. And they're going to help you make sense of it. Because you need to know this could be someone you're working with currently still. And this person does not have your highest good in mind. This person could even be keeping you stuck or blocked. Again, we have 10 out here. This is a major change that needs to happen. Once you make this major change happen, everything that you're seeking, 28 could be significant. Um, everything that you're seeking and desiring will come to you. Yeah, travel, move. You will have movement here. You'll be guided. I'll be guided easily and follow leads as they're shown. Working with spirit here. This is going to something again about... Grant me the courage I never knew I had. There's something about your courage here too. And I'm going to read this challenge out here because someone here, um, again, this is going to test you. This is going to test you. This is going to be a great test of your strength. And I'm getting this as like new strength for you that you're going to need to tap into to be the bigger person and... Give this situation to God and listen to their guidance rather than you may even be guided away from someone you think you're very close to or are meant to be in a friendship or relationship with something like this. Some of you, I hate to say it, but sometimes your friends that you've been carrying around forever and ever do not have your highest good in mind. And they are not aligned with where you are meant to be going. And yes, you do have to separate from people along the way. Unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. Again, that's for... Please keep in mind, if this is for you, this situation is going to be a huge test. This situation is going to test you to the core, but if you make it out to the other side, you will 
you will achieve, you will have the courage that you need to move forward or whatever that is for you. Um, and it's going to open up new opportunities and blessings for you. So I hope this message gets to whoever this is for and that it helps you. Or I hope you guys enjoy the reading and I will see you again next time.